to another beautiful day. This is Chris with Firewood Solutions, Ivester Tree. Here we have our Timco 445 EXL on a relatively steep side hill. I'm thinking it's probably right around 30 to uh, 35 degrees. And you can see me cutting timber. This is uh, the Feller Buncher at its finest you know it's it's there cutting the trees uh putting them into one big pile so that the skidder can back right up to them grab the pile and go this this actually helps keep a lot of the disturbance down in the forest because now instead of hand falling it and having to take the skidder to every single tree that we cut down you kind of take the machine cut the tree pick it right up and there's minimal impact. Basically, the only places impacted are the skid trails uh, where you're bringing the skidder up and down. Here in the video, you'll see our skidder. It's a John Deere 748G3, which is a pretty big tractor skidder. Um, it's capable, I believe, of like a 38 or 39,000 pound drag when uh, it's in first gear, which is just crazy. That's uh, like 600 foot green trees. Um, and let me clarify six, 100 foot green trees in the grapple. Um, like that, that would basically be a quarter of a semi load at one point, uh, dragging it right down a skid trail and through the woods. So going up this hill, I had to put it in a uh, diff lock which locks in all four tires. They spin all the same. Um, I th believe I was in second or possibly, th uh, probably second gear because it's geared very low. Um, I have to put your, uh, your grapple kind of back further to keep all your traction as much as you can on the uphill side of you um, going up. And this, this area had already been cut out by the Feller Buncher and everything was was uh, what we call in the logging industry a uh, buncher piled. So the skitter's up there, it's grabbing them. And uh, you'll see it here coming down in just a moment. So coming down the hill, I'm probably in third, maybe fourth gear. Again, this thing is geared really low. It's meant for heavy pulls. It's meant for optimized traction out of a, a tractor rubber tired skidder. Now there are track skidders that can get put on steeper ground. They're very slow um, and a lot of high maintenance to them. So we opted for a tractor skidder. It's minimal at ground impact. And you know, you can go over this rocky stuff without completely destroying your undercarriage. You can see we have chains on all four tires. That helps us with traction. That helps us with churning up the ground a bit. Uh, you can see how easily it turns right onto this road and doesn't do any damage to the road. Now, if you had a tractor, or a, excuse me, a track getter, it would uh, you know, obviously do more damage to the road. That's a pretty good turn it's pulling right now. The grapples, I believe, open up to 12 and a half feet wide. Uh, it's an eight speed transmission, so you got a lot of gears, you can get up and go. Moving on over to the D-Limmer here. Once we get the logs to the landing, this is how we get the limbs and the tips off of the logs. You see this machine will cut them to length. This was right after we just got the computer system uh, tuned up. And so I was getting used to some of the, the new added functions that were there that weren't there previously. Um, we had a, a gentleman come down from Oregon that spent 32 years working on these pieces of equipment to to help us dial in our delimmer so that our cuts can be more accurate and we can maximize how much we're hauling. Now there's stroke delimmers and there's dangle head processors. Now the dangle head processor 
uh, although faster than a delimmer, a stroke delimmer like this, uh, leaves a lot of marring on your outer bark because it has feed wheels and those feed wheels obviously have to gain traction and what happens is a lot of times it just uh, leaves a bunch of imprints in it and uh, some I've had customers tell me that you know they they asked if it was like rod or if there was you know what was going on with it and you know you have to explain to them that this is part of the the delimming process with certain delimmers um we like the stroke delimmer because it leaves a very nice finished product. You can measure out your stuff. You have a lot more uh, capability when it comes to um, processing, you know, crooked or not quite as quality timber that, you know, we're seeing more so in some of these timber sales in Utah. Then we go to the loading and hauling. We'll have some more videos coming soon.